Hey Beetle friends, what's going on? Uh, time for a vinyl update video. I'm going to go through Beatles records that I purchased recently. Uh, this will be one of two videos. Uh, the next one will be Beatles records, both group and solo. The Beatles records will be uh, uh, either UK pressings or you know, anything, any pressing as well as it's not a US pressing. This video, I, uh, I'm only going to be showing uh, the U.S. albums for, for this update video. So uh, probably by next week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, do a video showing the Beatles group and solo, as well as the Beatles records from all, press all around the world, excluding the U.S. So I have uh, the U.S. albums ready to be showed. So hope you enjoy this Beatles U.S. albums update, and let's get started. This one just arrived in the mail today. Very happy to have this particular album in the shrink. First of the US albums I want to show is the Beatles second album, Stereo Pressing. It came with the original Sears bag as a shrink. As most of you know, or some of you don't know, uh, when these albums were first released in the early 60s, uh, these originally came with the Sears bag. If you if you buy the records from Sears, you you they would be uh, wrapped in uh, the Sears bag. And um, uh, this was a nice little price. Very happy to have this, and it looks nice too. There's not one seam split anywhere, like like anywhere. Well, there's there's some uh, there, there's a little wear on the spine, but. No, no scene split anywhere on this album. So happy to say that. But there are seam splits on the inner sleeve, obviously. This is the original inner sleeve, capital inner sleeve. And here's a record. Record looks really nice. Here's side two. Uh, this one doesn't have the running time for Long Tall Sally and I Call Your Name. So, uh, this is a, a nice, nice upgrade. Well, I wouldn't, I don't know if I call this upgrade, you know, because uh, I actually, well, I, I say an upgrade, because I also have a, a copy of the Beatles' second album in stereo, and it's in the shrink, but that's a 1966 pressing, but still really nice, and it's in nice condition, so. All right, I have another Beatles album in the shrink. Now, about over a month ago, I went to... Ohio. Um, I'm, I'm born and raised in Northwest Ohio. I went there to see my family and friends. And um, uh, I stopped by a few record stores, including one uh, who, who, whose owner just passed away from a, from a heart failure. And every, every time I think about it or bring it up, it just breaks my heart. But I, I bought a few records from that store, including a, a couple that I showed in uh, my non-Beatles update video on, on my other channel. Now, uh, this this one I, I bought from one of the stores. And uh, it's Beatles 65, mono pressing in the shrink. It's got some tape there on the bottom, but this was uh, about $13. Back of it. Okay, now this one doesn't have seam splits. It has a little, little bit there, but it doesn't have a seam split. And this comes with a, the Teen Set Capital Inner Sleeve, which is in wonderful condition, except for a little crease there. And, and this, this one, really happy, really happy to have another upgrade of this in the shrink. And uh, the record here, uh, it, it looks like it's seen some better days, but still really nice condition. All right. Now this next record I bought from the store that was owned by one of my friends that just passed away. And um, uh, it's this, the American Rubber Sew Album with the Shrink. This was about twenty dollars. Uh, 
And this one, yeah, a little bit of seam split on the bottom, but but overall, this is this is nice. All right, it comes with the original capital inner sleeve. Here's a record. Original pressing doesn't have the Beatles name on the label. It just has uh, the names of the four members. Very stoked to have this particular pressing in the shrink. And, and it's in nice condition because I have another copy of the stereo album where both the record and the, vine, and, the and the jacket are not in great condition. Okay, I have two copies of this next album. And that's the Yesterday and Today album. Not a butcher album. This was just a random find from the flea market. Doesn't have the, the capital 66 in her sleeve. This is a West Coast pressing. Looks nice. Uh, still dirty. I haven't cleaned it. I have another Yesterday and Today album. This one is a, a, a record club pressing. Even though the jacket is not the record club pressing, uh, the record is. It has writings on the back. And this one's on the Capital Lime Green label. A previous owner wrote their name on this, but I'm uh, now what's special about this pressing of yesterday and today is that I'm um, uh, every song on here is in true stereo. Now, uh, this other pressing of yesterday and today album it has the songs I'm Only Sleeping, Dr. Robert, and And Your Bird Can Sing all in fake stereo, but this one has all the songs in true stereo including those three that I mentioned and it also has a day tripper with with uh, where when the song starts off the guitar riff starts on the left channel and then it becomes double track after the the first bar and uh, and uh, really really happy to have a copy the stereo copy where every song's in true stereo all right Okay. All right. Uh, next, next album. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Couldn't resist another one. I'm sorry. There's the back of it. This didn't cost much. S spines in nice condition. This doesn't have the cutouts or the psychedelic inner sleeve. But I already have so many Sergeant Pepper albums with both of them. So, and here's a record now. What's interesting about this variation, the song With a Little Help From My Friends, the first Prestons has it listed as A Little Help From My Friends, but this one is a corrected Preston where it has the full song title, With a Little Help From My Friends. And record looked like it, it was uh, never played. Almost never played. There's just a few spindle marks on here, but I'm a really nice find, and uh, there's there's hardly any wear on the jacket, and uh, no seam splits either anywhere on this album. All right, now this one is going to have a seam. This next one's going to have a seam split all the way on the top. Now Christmas season may be over, but I found another copy of this album for a nice lower price, and it's an authentic pressing, the Beatles Christmas album. Show the record quick. Authentic, authentic, authentic. That's how you tell your copy of the Christmas album is authentic. All right, and uh, this next record was a, a, a random find. I have the UK pressing of this album, but I'm uh, uh, I I saw this the other day and decided to to buy it. It's an American pressing. This is the Beatles Past Masters Volume One and Two. Parlophone and Capital.
gatefold. this back on. Uh, I'll show the labels though. They're on the, the purple capital label. And the records are in nice condition. That's record one right there. And this was a, a $20 fine. Okay. Alright, uh, this will be the last U.S. album I'm going to show before I show a Grail. The Beatles Rarities. Also bought this from my Ohio trip. Now this one's embossed. Let me show you. This one's embossed, the, the photo here. And this has the, the mistake here on the Helter Skelter. Uh, it, says, uh, it says here, uh, it doesn't come back like on the stereo version, so you don't hear the classic Lennon statement, I've got blisters on my fingers. And also, there's no produced by George Martin on this. Here's a gatefold. Now, this is a... Let me show the gatefold. There's a Butcher album. And um, this one has the shrink for the album. It has a sticker here. Rare photos include in Butcher Shop. Speaking of the Butcher album. You know what's coming. And here's the original price sticker. Uh, the previous owner purchased this at a place called Sound Mill in Monroe, Michigan, which w which is about uh, 20 minutes from where I was born and raised. 6.98. And here's another sticker here on the back. I tried putting this on the jacket, but it it's it wouldn't fit. So I'm I'm I was like, eh, I'm not gonna risk. I'm not gonna risk ruining this shrink here. So it's it's nice that the guy kept it in here and now uh, this was a twelve dollar fine this was at a different record store in ohio by the way it's not that place where it was owned by a, a friend who's now deceased all right okay not so about 10 seconds ago i showed you that sticker where it says includes rare butcher shot i have one more album a u.s album and it's a grail not a first state, not it's not a first state or a third state, but it is a, a second state. Here it is, and it's in the shrink. This is the second state stereo butcher album. I found this for a, a nice little three digit affordable price on Discogs. So this is my second butcher steal off of Discogs. Let me show you. You see that? Can you see that? There it is. Can you see that? There's Ringo in, in the black V collar right there. And you can also see, I don't know if you can here, but you can also see the, the gray border on the top of the Butcher album through the trunk cover here. So. So very care. I want to show it one more time. Can you? I want to make sure you guys see it. Guys and gals see it. So, so you can you can see Ringo's head here. So back of it in the shrink. And this is a West Coast pressing, so it's it's the same as it's this, the record is the same pressing of of uh, this album. Preston, Los Angeles, oh, like like the one that I bought at the flea market early, that I showed earlier. That's not a butcher album, but I'm. Uh, this is like my fourth copy of the Second State album. I'm I'm trying to peel the one that's in that's not in great condition. It's got some writing on it from the previous owner, and I got one that's on the wall still, and I got a. Uh, uh, one that's in nicer condition that I, I bought shortly after my trip to New Jersey this past summer and now I got a second state stereo album for a nice price so alright hope you enjoy this US update US Beatles update video uh, stay tuned for my Beatles vinyl update video where I show Beatles records press all around the world excluding the US as well as some solo Beatles records so Hope you enjoy this update and hope you enjoy seeing this Second State Butcher album. 
talk to you all later. Thank you for watching.